okay, so I decided to do a mukbang. Um, I just finished the Don't Rush Challenge, and um, I did a makeup video. So, I made me some deep dish um, pizza that I ordered from Go um, Puff. So, it came with pepperoni and sausage. I ate a mushroom on it because I love mushroom. Let me pull one off. It came. It was two deep dish pit, um, pieces, little mini pieces, and I just cut them. So I didn't cut them the best, but this is how it looks. And I think I'm gonna do a little stir time. And this is crystal light. All right, so let's try this deep dish fish pizza because um, I like both of. So um, yesterday was my first time ordering from them. Shout out to my friend Emily. She gave me a link. You get fifteen dollars off. Well, five dollars off three orders. So five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. You don't get a whole fifteen for the first order. That's what I thought it was. But it's still good. It's reasonable, and they come quick. And um, they have everything on there. A lot of stuff was sold out, but they even sell sex toys on here. Go figure. But um, I just bought some snacks and like little quick food that I can make. But let's try it. Mmm. I ate a mushroom. Mmm. It's good. I'm gonna order some more. I'm gonna order like two more. Mmm. The mushroom just make it. I love mushroom. Comment down below if y'all like mushroom. Um. So this is my twist out. Remember y'all saw my hair twisted? That's my twist out. I'm trying not to touch my hair when I'm eating. It's my hair, but I know how people feel when you're dealing with hair and you're eating food. I know how I feel. But. Let's try to just use this hand because I was touching my hair with this hand. But, um, I think I told this story before. I don't know if I told this story before. It's kind of long. And that's why I really didn't want to tell it. I think I told it to someone. I think I told my coworker and I was supposed to do a story time. Well. Mmm, it's good. This came out the oven. Mm. And this is like the only crust I can eat is when I'm doing like a mini pizza. Because I don't like crust. Because I don't like a lot of dough. But this is like a whole, you know, deep dish. Um, so, this is the story time when I got into a bar fight. So, it all started because... I think we were celebrating someone's birthday. I'm not sure. Maybe we weren't. But it was it was like a lot of us. I don't even know how many people it was. But it was my cousins, my friends. Well, who was my friends then? And my cousins. Oh. Mm-hmm. My lipstick coming out. I hope it's not on my feet. And the reason why I keep doing this is because I parted it too much over this side. I should have parted like right here. So now this part keeps on falling on my face. But I just left it like that for the video. That I just did the Don't Rush Challenge. So follow my Instagram and my Fashionista page on Facebook. Everything is in the description so y'all can see the Don't Rush Challenge. Because I can't put it on here because I'm going to get um, copyright. Um, or, and follow me on TikTok. You'll see it on TikTok too. Everything is in the description. you don't have a TikTok, if you don't have a TikTok, you might have an Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, I know you might have a Facebook, so you can follow my fashion Insta page. Um, um, oh, that went out the window. It's my hair, because I was touching my hair with this hand. It's my hair. And there's no hair on here, but just think, it's my hair. I'm eating it, so y'all not eating it. Mm -hmm. If I was preparing something for someone else, I'm not going to be touching my hair. I promise you. So, anywho, it all started because we all decided because we wanted to go out that night. I don't know if we were celebrating anyone's birthday, or we just wanted to go out. So, we went out, and we went to the spot around my cousin's way at the time that we always would go to. It was like a little hood bar lounge. Not even a lounge, like a hood bar. So... We went out. We're all pissy drunk. I 
Most of us at the time didn't know how to handle our liquor. Me and me being one, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm better now, but I used to get trashed. Oh, I'm much better now. But um, mmm, my strong. So we having a good old time. So, one of my friends at the time, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to call these people, because I don't want to say anybody's right name, but one of my friends at the time, her boyfriend was there, like, I don't know if they were going together at the time, or ex, or what, but he was very abusive, I mean abusive, and she would keep on going back to him, keep on going back. Like, he would really beat on her. And she was young, too. Huh? I mean, abusive. Horrible. He was bad. So, I don't know if he was going with her first or the person that we end up fighting first. But, anywho, he ended up being there. And he ended up being near with the girl, which he called his girlfriend. So, and my friend there, so you know she mad. She want to fight. She hype. And me being the friend I am, I know she can't fight. So, I wanted to fight for her. Because <laughs> she can't fight and she couldn't fight. So, I wanted to fight for her because I know I can fight. And I was mad. And that was my friend at the time. So, I ride hard for my friends. So, anywho... They get into it somehow. She start arguing with the girl. The girl like kicking her ass. Like the girl really getting the best of her. So I'm like, we in a bar like is like pet is crowded. It's nowhere really to move in the bar. So we all get the fighting in a bar. Uh, we trying to break it up. We trying to get to the girl to break it up. Trying to get to him. Get to him because not only is the girl beating her up, he jumps in and he start beating up my friend at the time. He starts beating her up too. So, I'm trying to eat this pizza because it get cold quick. Um, this is a long story time. I probably should have did this story time by itself. But I like the... I don't like just to sit and eat In front of the camera. I guess that's what the mukbang is all about. But it's not an ASMR. I guess the ASMR is when you don't say anything. You just eat. Mukbang is can talk. But I know when somebody subscribe a lot of them. I don't even know if they're subscribed. Probably just a troll. One comment is saying why am I talking too much. But no one else had a problem with it. my subscribers. That I know that's my subscribers. Y'all never had a problem with me talking. But. Let me drink some crystal out. So they both kicking her ass. Um. So we all start like jumping in it. All of us, we was squad deep. So we all get the tussling. The bar owner, the worker. They trying to break it up. They're hollering. They're going off. I got so mad, I picked up a bar stool. All I know is I picked up the bar stool and I was like this. And the bartender, he was like, ah, 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 ah. no, 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 no. So I couldn't throw the bar stool. Thank God he did take it away from me. I probably would have got locked up. Um, I think I'm biting pieces and putting them back. I don't even know if I was eating this one or this one. Look, they both bit and I don't know. Y'all probably know. But, um. Didn't get the, get the third bar to him. So somehow we all end up going outside. So um, the girl that he was dealing with, not my friend at the time, but his other girlfriend. His, I don't know if she, I don't know if my friend was a side chick or the girl was a side chick. I can't remember. It was so long ago. I don't remember how it went. I'm thinking that my friend was the side chick because she was, like, much younger. He's an older guy, and the girl that he was with was around his age. So, I'm thinking maybe my friend was the side chick. I can't remember. 
My other friends probably can tell you better because I can't remember. But, um, anywho, we get outside, we argue, and we heat it, we ready to fight. It's a summer day. Well, it's nighttime. It's like 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning right now. I think that place stayed open to 3. It's like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So I start to argue with the girl. So I'm like, I want to fight you. Fight me. Like, because I knew my friend couldn't fight. I wanted to fight that girl one on one. I'm like, fight me. Puerto Rican girl, like I said. So I had on a dress. Tandles. She was like, what you say? I said, fight me. I want to fight. I want you to fight me. Fight me. Like, I'm ready to fight. Like, come on. Let's get it. We in the middle of the street. She said, um, what did she say? How did she say it? She was like, fat girl, you need to take that dress off. Why'd she say that? You know when somebody come for me and my clothes and stuff, I got to go off on y'all. You could call me fat. I didn't care about that. The fact that she told me to take my dress off like a fat girl can't wear a dress, I went off. And it's not like she was skinny. She like built, like she a correctional officer, so she like, she not fat and she wasn't skinny. She was like a medium size. Um, maybe like a size 12 or 14, tall, but she wasn't skinny. So, I start, I just smoke with them. We start going at it, I'm fucking her up, like, just doing my thing. Like, I'm getting the best of it. First, I said... I'm going to fight her. I was like, I want to fight her. I was like, y'all just watch him. I'm telling my friends and my cousins and stuff. I'm like, watch him. I'm going to say his name. We're going to call him C. I'm like, watch C because I know he like to hit women. And I don't want him to sneak me. Because I know that's what he was going to try to do. He was like, no, you got it. You got it. Go ahead. Fight him. But when I, he saw that I was kicking his girlfriend's ass, he jumped on my back. Like, I felt the weight. Like, I felt him jump on me. Because I had her on the ground, and I'm just fucking her up. Like, I'm doing my thing. And once I'm on somebody, you can't pull me off. I think he jumped on. I don't even think he tried to break it up. He just was like, no, 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 that's enough. She beating her up. Like, she she on my girl. My cousin stuff was like, no, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Don't get mad because my cousin kicking her ass. Like, don't get mad. No, it's a fight. That's, you wanted it? Y'all got it. So I'm teeing the girl up. I'm on top of it. You can't get me off. Once I'm on somebody, you can't get me off. So he jumped. I mean, he, this man jumps on my back. I feel all the weight on my back. Like, I'm like, get off of me. Get the fuck off of me. Like, I'm going to get off of me. Um, all I hear is my cousin say, get the fuck off my cousin. And she started. She, you know, her and him start fighting. She fighting him like a man. My cousin, uh, I think she's six feet. He got to be six feet. Last time I checked, she was like five nine. She probably like five nine, six feet. Tall, big, tall. Excuse me. Tall and big and just, she giving him. I mean, she tearing him up. She tore him up so bad that her whole knuckle was busted. She still got the mark to prove it. Maybe one day I can get her on my channel and let her tell some of the stories. She got the mark to prove it on her, um... That's a whole nother story time about her. How her hand got messed up and all that. That's a whole nother story time. But um, We fighting. Well, she fighting him. I'm still on the girl. Me and the girl still fighting. The girl, she did scratch my face. She was a scratcher. She scratched my face. I had scratches on my face from her scratching my face. And that's when I had her on the ground. She put her nails in my face. But she wasn't punching. She went, I was just had it. All she could do was scratch. And she was pulling my hair. So... Um, and that's another thing before what made me real mad before that's why I said she Puerto Rican what made me mad and I don't have anything up against any phrase but what made me what made me mad that's one of the keys before she said the dress and all that she was saying I'm tired of y'all black girls y'all black girls bald headed y'all don't got no hair y'all wish y'all had hair like me y'all wish y'all was like me y'all all bald headed y'all ugly like just down in black people down in black girls and you with a black man like come on you with a black man and you talking about black girls and all that so she was one of those so she talking all this ya ya so my cousins was like cause they wear weaves and stuff like they didn't have their hair out but I always have my natural hair out 
They was like, what you talking about? Look at not saying themselves, but they was like, look at my cousin here. Look how long it is. Look how pretty she is. We like saying we pretty. Look at her hair. You can't talk about black girls and all this. Like, look at my hair. Like, just because you Puerto Rican don't mean that your hair, that's nothing. She was like, my um cousin got long hair. My cousin here probably longer than you. So I was like, I just want to fight this bitch. Like that whole time, like that whole, es that escalated all of it. So, me and her finally stopped fighting, I believe. My cousins and them was like, finally was like, all right, Tasha, you got it. That's a no. Like, you be the, uh, um, my cousin, no, um, see, my, um, friend, boyfriend and all that, he was mad because my cousin beat him up. He like, I'm going to go get my gun. I'm going to shoot all y'all bitches, all the, meanwhile, my cousin that beat C up, she got a whole boyfriend with her that's high as hell. He falling. He didn't help at all. He's so high with though. He can't even stand up. We mad at him because we like, you supposed to protect us. How you gonna go out with us and get messed up worse than us? And a guy is in the mix and you can't even fight him because you so high and you fall on the ground, don't even know what's going on. We dragging him, mad at him. He hollering at us. Why you drag? Why y'all dragging me? Who dragging me all high and dumb and all uh? We cussing him out. We get on her like, you got him, he can't even help us. Like, she beating him up. <laughs> it was just a whole free fall. When I tell you this was a crazy night, a crazy bar fight, a crazy free fall, everybody was outside. We thought we was going to be a world star or something. YouTube, every, people was recording. It was like the whole block was out. It was a whole big free fall fight, but it was just us. It wasn't like other people from the bar. It was just all of us. So, we said, let's go, because he might get a gun. Who cares? We might get a gun, but we leave, and we ain't trying to get shot. Like, we did what we had to do. Let's leave. My one friend at the time, which is the one, my um friend that I was fighting for, her sister, she didn't have no shoes on. It was a couple people that didn't have shoes on. We don't know how that happened. Somebody ended up picking up a bottle and um, throwing it, I think. Glass was on the ground. So she had glass all in her feet. People had glass in their feet. We got, we left. The fight was over. He talking about he going to shoot us when he see us. Watch y'all back and all this other stuff. Um, my one friend that had the glass on her feet. When he got back, she like, huh, her boyfriend going to have to play doctor. Getting the glass out. So they did that. We get back to the house. We tried to get my aunt to um come out with her um husband. Cause he go, he crazy. We thought he was gonna come out and help us. They like, no, we not getting the vibe. They want nothing to do with it. We like, take your asses home. Cause we knew he would have kicked his ass too, and we knew he probably would have got his bed or whatever. She was like, I got rid of all the weapons. I don't have nothing. <laughs> we not coming out. So we was all crying because we was mad. We was laughing at the situation. We all was crying because we was mad too. I cry when I get mad. I cry when I fight. I don't care if I. I want to fight or not. I'm still crying. So, it was a whole situation. Um, everybody worrying about the glass in their feet. And all I'm worried about is my face. Because that bitch was scratching at my face. I'm looking in the mirror trying to make sure I'm not going to have no permanent scratches, marks on my face. I didn't. But, I was making sure I didn't have to go to the hospital. Because she gave me something from scratching me. My cousin ended up having to go to the hospital because of her hand. So, we all was at her house. She went to the hospital. She could, um, I probably let her tell that story. She had a whole swollen, um, fist, her hand. She still got the mark from beating him up. So, uh, something happened to her finger, I think, too, from punching him. I think her finger got messed up. My marks healed on my face. She did scratch my face. That's the only thing the girl did do to me. This piece is good. I cannot wait to order this when I'm done this with them. I'm going to order a couple more. Boxing. So... The twist to the story, yo. So we had a good time going. We, we was talking about the whole ordeal at night. It was like, Tasha, you really kicked the ass. You know, my friend was so glad I had her back and everything like that. Because that girl kicked her ass. And I knew if we wasn't there, that girl probably would have killed her. So I'm like, stay away from him. I think she ended up going back to him after that. I think she did. 
I think it was a while, but she ended up going back to him. I think she stayed away from a while. I was like, you, I mean, you can't, you can't judge people and you can't say what you'll do until you're in that situation. That's how I got to look at it. Cause I just know myself, I wouldn't be able to deal with something like that, but you really can't speak on it until you've been in somebody's situation. That's the only thing I can say. Because some stuff that you can't fathom, you can't see yourself doing or you wouldn't do this, but you can't say that until you're in that situation. But she didn't, she did end up going back after. But the twist of this is, y'all listen to this. We like, we don't have parties as we used to, but we have a bar. So we used to, we have a, um, we have a bar in our basement that's called D&D's, which is my mom and her boyfriend name. So. Diana Dante, so D and D's. So we used to have parties all the time, like theme party, just to have friends over, little um gatherings and all that. Sometimes we ask people to bring a bottle, sometimes we don't. We had food, sometimes we don't. We had snacks, sometimes we don't. But this one particular time, we was having a fight party. Years later, I'm gonna say let's fast forward three years from the fight. Three years or so later. So we having a fight party. So at the fight party, I noticed this particular girl that looked familiar. I couldn't put my finger on it. She came with my mom's boyfriend, co-worker. She came with her. I could not put my finger on it. Don't y'all know it was the bitch that I was fighting? It's a small world. It's a small damn world. And I couldn't put my finger on it. I just couldn't put my finger on it. So I told my mom, I was like, I know her. I don't know where I know her from. Who is she? And then we record, we used to record everything. So we would have like, just for memory, we, we would have somebody recording. My mom, um, boyfriend's brother, I think he was recording at the time of the fight party. And we got her on camera. So I couldn't think of where I knew her from. But I think I ended up remembering that night. And I was like, that's the girl I beat up. That's so-and-so um, boyfriend, girlfriend or something like that. However it went. I was like, that's the one we was fighting when we had that big bar fire. That's the girl. And she in here. I was like, she got the fucking go. Like, somehow, I think my mom got to her um her boyfriend's co-worker and was like, look, the friend that you, you welcome to come here anytime you want. But the girl that you're with, my daughter was fighting her. And my, she got to go. My daughter kicked her ass like she got to go. But she was in my house. That's how you know. You never know. It's a small world. And you talk about terrified. That girl was so scared. But when she was there, she was so nice. Because I didn't know who she was at first. I said hi and everything. Because I'm a great host. And I love um, the person that bore her. She is so sweet. She's a sweetheart. She always comes to the functions. And I love her. So, of course, I'm going to treat her company nice. So, I was like, hey, y'all. Anything y'all need? Um, giving them drinks. Like, I'm a girl. I'm the perfect host for a party. Anyone would tell y'all that. I'm the life of the party. And I'm the perfect host. So, I'm always feeding people drinks and then making sure they, they glass is not ever, um, empty glass got to stay full. But, um, this is not liquor <laughs> glass got to stay full. So I'm always making sure everyone is okay. So I'm saying hi and all that being so, and I'm so mad afterwards that I was so nice to her because even though that was so long ago, but I don't know you. Girl, I would kick your ass. Get the fuck out of my house. So, I was like, get out. So, I ended up telling my friend. We were still friends at the time. I let her know. I said, guess who was at my house? Show her the video. So, she was like, you partying with the enemy. I was like, girl, I did not know that was her. Like, I had to think back. Like, you, I didn't know her to begin with. That was my first time ever meeting her when I fought her. So, I didn't know the girl. So, um, I didn't know her. So, I don't know her. Like, Mariah Carey said, I don't know her. So, I did not know her. So, I couldn't remember her. Kicked the ass, so I could not remember. But girl ended up at my house. So you y'all gotta be we gotta be careful. You never know who you going want. And I always say you never know who you gonna run back into. You never know when you wanna need somebody, even with work. I had a situation with work with though I'm always like it wasn't nothing bad, but I ended up seeing somebody at a whole nother place and we end up being together again. That's why you always gotta treat people good. You never know when you're gonna need somebody or end up with them again. Look, me running my mouth, this pizza is cold now. I like cold pizza though, so I'm still going to eat it. I feel like I'm a spit food in here, but y'all, 
that's my bar fight. It's more to the story, but nutshell, after a while, she ended up not having any dealings with him. Like, they got on the verge, which, though, they were cordial, huh, and the guy. But he's a woman um, beater. One of our other friends, well, one of my little cousin friends ended up marrying him. Ended up getting married with him, and they still together. How about that? So, hey. I ain't heard no name, but I know anybody that watches this video can know about this. They're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the fight of the century. That was the fight of the year. That thing was crazy. And to think, years later, somebody that I beat up that I didn't know ended up at my damn house. That's crazy. Small world. Philly is small anyway, so. Ciao. Let me finish this last little bit. And I'm going to go. Leave me a comment, y'all. Y'all ever had anything crazy like that? That was crazy. And my cousin, her poor hand, she dealt with that. Um, She fucked him up. She really tore him up. Like, you want to beat women? And we had incidents after that, where's though? Was it before or after? I don't know if it was before or after. Because we had incidents with him so much. With my friend, where's though? We had to help her. And then it gets to the point where it's though, you don't want to keep on getting involved because they're still, at the end of the day, we know that she's still going back to that person. I mean, if you're not going to get a restraining order and stay away from that person, I mean, what can we do? Because now we're putting our life in danger. Like, we're helping you. We're coming over helping you. To help a like to break up a fight or something like that, cause it, he cause he beating on you like it's sad, but I mean we couldn't keep on putting our life in jeopardy, especially if you're going to keep on going back to him. But yeah, mm mm mm, this is really good. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna um, go look at the box and the name of it. Come back and I try to know what it is. Mm. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all how small the box was. I got okay, y'all. This is what it, I was eating. They got um, Supreme. I don't like green peppers and all that stuff. That's why I didn't get that. But these are good. It comes with two um, deep dish pieces. And they're fulfilling. So I'm probably going to be full for a while. This is good. And then if you're not that hungry, you can eat one. But I didn't eat anything. So I ate two. I know they say that's a fat person favorite line. They didn't eat anything all day. But I promise you, I didn't eat anything all day. This is my first meal. Yep. So hopefully I can get a a thumbnail. But um I hope y'all love the story time. Y'all like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you'll know when all my videos are coming out. Share this video so someone else can see. Um with this place at the offer and go puff and see what I ate today and see hear that crazy bar fight. Leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all like this video. If y'all ever had a similar situation like that. Um, yeah, until next time. Love you guys, y'all. Buy my fashion dolls. I gotta do that over. <laughs> Love you guys, y'all. Buy my fashion dolls. Bye, y'all. I don't know why it sounded so weird the first time. All right, bye.